bum, 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 bum. Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing ASMD and today we're gonna finish World Sex. There's just this is a tower here, every level kinda of packed together on the east side, and then we're probably gonna have enough time to at least do the first level of World 7, Blizzard Buffalo, you start between two heavy guys and I just want into them immediately. I don't remember much about this level other than it is entirely constructed out of these like slushy blocks and it's like swamps and thwims all day long. Like that's all I remember. But I feel like I'm all remembering everything that matters about this level. So what are you complaining? Okay, you can't just do that like that. Maybe if you stuck from over here then you surmise. Feels like the kind of level that's made for a Dagadon challenge, which I'm not doing, because there's not a map indicator, so I'm like, well, who cares? Dagadon, one-ups. There are better ways to get one-ups than five hard-to-get things. Here we go. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Okay, calm down. So, shock, maybe, but there is ice physics. Uh, that swim there. With his other swim companion. Yeah, bring me to despair right now. Here we got proper ice blocks. They're actually the glass container of the roulette. Don't let yourself be confused. Don't let yourself be exhumed. Although that's not something you really have much say. Let's let's be honest. You either get exhumed or you don't. Like there's there's no value in between. It is it, it, whoa. Binary action. Alright, so here we go, hoppin' boppin'. Someone took the time of installing these grills, these fences, these chain links on these windows. Is this a high crime area? Like, you wouldn't think. Like, there's nothing but snow here. Then again, there's nothing but snow here, so I feel like I answered my own question. Alright, check it out. That guy's like, whoa, and I'm like, yeah, you're right. This is, oh, oh. Well, this kind of slightly broke with the advent of the Yellow Switch Palace. Otherwise, that guy would be happily hip hopping, dipping, bopping about, doing custom dance moves at $3.99 each. Is that a thing? Can you. Oh, shoot. Can you, like. What's the word I'm looking for here? Can you, like. But, like, buy a dance move? Like, is that something you can ask someone to design for you? Like, hey. I need, like, a sweet dance move. I'm gonna commission you, like, a certain set of patterns of movements that then only I'm allowed to do. Like, is that, can you? I have no idea how that universe world works, I'm realizing. It's just completely outside of my knowledge key is. Uh, all right, well, that was the level. There's no midpoints. You get a- okay, you get one power-up at the end, no midpoints, big empty room without any music, and then suddenly it's a boss, oh my gosh, it's Big Boo. Uh, not the hardest Big Boo in the world when you really look at this, because this is all it is? I mean, like, layers can be... can be spooky. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, okay, well. Okay, well. Um, I could die here. I'm just gonna leave you here. There you go. Yeah, you're just gonna step on it. Like, okay, like, yeah, this is not the easiest uh, fight, but it's not the hardest either. There we go. Am I gonna get smashed if I just stay here? No! I'm gonna phase through my moving layer platform like it wasn't even there because ultimately when you clear the level it stops being there. Get out of here moving platform. We're done with you. I'm gonna eliminate all of the ice in the world so that my frosted tomato juice feels colder in comparison to the medium heat value of the universe. Oh, good luck with that. Demo will surely think twice the next time she finds a reasonable price pantsuit in her local- Why? <laughs> Why would she think that? What? What are you talking about? Anyways, desert. This writing is weird. 
it's not even necessarily funny, it's just weird. So very much in flavor of my commentary style at a time. So you know what? Good job with that. No, yeah, it took like five minutes. Here we go. Starting World 7. Never heard before content here. We actually have the World 7 tune, which means we'll also have the post-game tune. like a lot longer than the other one, so I'm just gonna stop here awkwardly. Lusty Desert, the spiritual sequel to Super Puzzle Deluxe right now. Wow, what, what, always talking about tongue lashing, and then, like, that thing does not advance any plot. So, Desert, the fun part about Desert is that because there are no, like, set pieces internally inside Smooth to just have that done for you, uh, people always have to be creative, especially if they're newer to, uh, it, like, Sumara World Hacking and might not know how to import, like, things, and you're just kind of doing with what you got, like, you get some really creative solutions. Like, here, just using... Ugh. Really? Fine. All finally reunited under the same light. That guy. All right. Yeah, yeah. There's a secret exit. Like, right? It's there inside that door. I think I'm gonna do that first, maybe. Whoosh! Didn't expect him to be there. Just give me a power up at the start, though. Like. Super double wide door there. Oh, thank you for the instructions. I was very confused. Uh, Alright, so this ain't free, so, you know, take this seriously. You got laser rope down there. Having fun. Here's a one up. Hey! The old green radish. Hey, hat guy. What was I supposed to use here? To use your hat abilities here? Why can't you just use this hat guy here? for hats, I guess no one will ever say that. He's still bouncing around. Well, I'm just going down to town, and there's another hat guy there. Despair is my hair. Weird. I don't have an explanation either, but sometimes it just doesn't matter. Eh. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, I mean, I can do it. I had absolute confidence I could do it, but... Okay, so if you hold the button... No, I can kind of stop... Ah, okay, I made it there. There you go, so I can go on the side and get this giant novelty big blue pea, and then you're like, here, ooh, what do I do? Wow. It's one of the most subtle per parts of the puzzle. I gotta have with me. Alright, so here you're very clear about bringing the P-Switch down with you. Like, honestly... I appreciate the chart chalk markings everywhere. Makes it sure that you don't like throw yourselves down a pathway without holding a specific object in your hands. It's just like it's just here. oh, that's mean. All right, there's one good block. It's the one on top. You know what? That's probably the easiest one to hit. So. That's the right decision to make. Oh man, look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Thank you, Yum, for teaching me that it's eight flippies. All right. There's various things we want here. 
this P switch, for example. That's something we want. Um, but I also want... What's in the other one? Alright, I can just drop you here, probably. I don't know if I can get you easily, though. I guess I can do that and just get her like an idiot. Like, strictly speaking, I'm back to exactly how I was, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, like, you need the other one, because you need the other one. Oh man, no, oh man, oh man. We're gonna double P, what we call in some places, P, P. Don't, don't do that. It sounds not as cool as you might think. Look at that, sweet. No, wait, yeah, this is a time crunch. Yeah, you gotta, like, I think those are munchers, so you gotta pee, you gotta pee. You gotta beat at least the silver pee. Grr, there we go, oh, no. Don't let your big, large head slide out of the wall, Demo. It's the melon run! 100 meters, 200 meters, 500 meters, one kilometer. Man, this is really tall. Then you go like here and you jump, and then you do it again. We did it! Always keep that pee in front of your face, in case. Case of what? I, in case of lots of things. Alright, this is really good. Whoa. Like, I'm not- I'm explicitly trying not to do a P-Switch jump because that eats up time. And, like, I am not sure how time stringent this is, but it was a little bit, I feel like. Because, like, I heard that bibiblip right before I touched those last block, and, like, that would have been a really tragic way to end things. And that pyramid part is so rad. But now we gotta do the what I remember to be less rad, uh, like a big old bunch of item shot. Oh, this removes your power ups too. So it's a choice that you start here with all of this nonsense and like no real recourse. Okay. All right. So. Definitely want to get the trampoline at the top. Probably, definitely, the sounds are being made. All right, I got myself a springboard. I think it's not for here. I forget. Yeah, that jump is more doable than it looks like. Here, there's a token man. There's a block. Whoa, like blocks. Here we go, it's Blocktown, New Jersey. Capital City of One. There's a block here. Yeah, there's one here. Alright, so I can just do that. Like, you could try to do a complicated... I think that means, yeah, you go down here. <laughs> this is such a weird level, and this is kinda like how it goes. But I like the little chalk board. Signifiers. It's just, it's a weird level. Hey, there's, this is the first natural beat if you don't go in the pyramid. Charlie, your spaghetti. Did you know that? Alright, I'm gonna go up here. I don't know why. Uh, hey, double vine. So you can see the sky. I'm a star that jump. How will I survive? Whoa. That was confusing. I don't know, you get up here to do a die jump boo from there, maybe? There's baseballs below me. Yeah, I I should have waited for the baseballs to go away. No! Oh! sprites that are starting to pile up here. Feeling good. Alright, this time, yeah, there isn't, like, death orbs moving laterally underneath me. Where's that shell? I'm gonna need it. Ah, dude. Kick. I 
know why I'm being so scared there, but I feel like being scared sometimes leads to longer lives, so here we are. Alright, this is the part that I remembered, where we go into super deluxe mode. Although, you still got, like, super awkward jumps, like here, for example, I don't know if that was super awkward. Now, like, I have a big advantage here in that, once again, I've been through this before, and I've since seen other people go through this before. So, like, I have an idea of what is going on. Blind? This is a lot more of a nightmare. supposed to do a running jump here, or...? Wow! Yeah! Okay, just barely. Alright. Feels great. Feels fantastic. Uh, love frog there's having fun. Coloration really does make it like its head is all bloody. I don't know why. Alright, so is there anything fun here? I don't know. Let's go down here. Well, here's a pit. So, if you find that fun... Whoa! Did I punch? Bottle? Oh shoot! Is that good? Uh, you know what? I, I, I just kind of have to go at this point. I just kind of have to go at this point. I hope I'm not dead. I don't know though. All right. Uh, I might have to enter. Well, what would the blue pea here do for me? I'm not sure yet. Where does the reset bring me? Because I'm just not sure about myself here. Where is this? Okay, it's way back here. See, making me think that that P-switch is important. Right. Oh, you can just do that to kill him. Alright, so, you need to get down here. There's a P-switch. You gotta do something with it. Oh, this is like... Okay, there we go. But like, is that really what they want you to do? To bring... Maybe... Anyways, you get to find... A sprocket somewhere here. So I think I can just leave this here. Because we're gonna use that to form... Something. I'm not sure. Maybe you need that somewhere here. Like, I just don't really know, and so I'm going to be very careful. So I want you to use a P-switch here, so there you go. I did need it, I just wasn't sure where or how. But yeah, this level would be, like, impossible without the chalk markings, I now realize. Uh, well, it'd be a lot more uh, trial and error. And I also... You're constantly in danger? I don't know. Decisions were made. Alright, so press this. Okay, that creates a bridge here. And so I go over there and I'm like, okay. Silver P. Alright. Now use the silver P. Like, is this really the easiest way to do this? Hey, I, I don't know. Use a silver P to basically get your two P switches here. I guess. I I think I'm. No no no! Don't do it that way. So we're gonna use that P switch to do a bridge there, but we also gonna need the silver P. So you gotta do this old handshake. Now P switches they stay where they are. You don't have to worry about them like despawning or respawning back to their prime state, like, none of that. It's all good. So we make ourselves a bridge here, then here, we kind of mess up a little bit. You know, get a little bit clumsy. Okay, I think it's in our best interest to, like, eliminate them as much as possible, because we will be returning here. Hey, boy. Harley, whatever, that's a meme. Then here, like, wow, yeah. Okay, so here's this guy. We need to feed this guy. We got a brand new gimmick here. We gotta feed this guy because we're gonna need an adult Yoshi to get, I think, three springboards if my memory is correct. Uh, 
Uh, so now you got two living organisms inside of you. Yeah, see there it says three springboards under a cloud. Uh, how did it get there? Shout it out loud. I could just make him eat that and break the puzzle. I really could. Maybe I should? Yeah! Ah, God damn it. Why is this... Like, why are you in constant danger at all times? Ugh, shoot. I messed up. I messed up! Like, the puzzle part is already, like, so stressful. This is my last one. If I'm not careful, he's just gonna grow up over a pit. And there's no other enemies. Yeah, and then I- yeah, so... Ugh. No! So... okay. I was about to say, so if I had done that... And he had found a hole, but he had already had eaten something, like, I would have been toast, but there's a reset door right here, strictly speaking, right? It's just that the issue is that you're very likely to just die. Like, that's what makes this so harrowing. Get in that horse's belly. Porto belly mushroom. I was supposed to keep you alive. Uh, hmm. Well. Ah! There we go. That's how you can do it. Ah, yeah. your shell despawn, making you look like a fool. How does that feel? You respond, making me almost look like a fool. That felt real bad. Right. Eh. So we got the springboard here. The springboard here. We got this very uncomfortable springboard here. Yeah, like, I don't know if you can double grab two springboards. I, I recall it being a real hassle. So, really, you can't? And you're just kind of moving back and forth a lot. Which is not real great, but here we are. Here's a second springboard. You can use it to give electroshock therapy. And you leave it there. And then I realize I don't know where ground was at all. And I just kind of jump. Because you can't see where you're jumping. Why would that be the case? We are now in Orange Town. I can't feel my face. Don't die touching one of these guys. I feel like that might have happened to me. Like, that's why I was very careful about Gargondola and the soda experience. Who else wouldn't be, right? Alright, here we go. So, doing all this, bring that here so that we can do a spring jump jump all the way up here right back to this central mass you use a p-switch there and that's about that now we're gonna fight a boss i hope there's hits in a boss i remember it being a thing or potentially a thing while in this desert should only hurt i wish yeah so basically uh there's a real big boo and there's a boss big boo like that's a boss big boo doesn't have a hitbox. Uh oh. Like, honestly, respriting the fish generator as ghost is inspired. But yeah, see, you got like the bigger, lighter, brighter, more sunshinier boo here. He has lobsters for sale. You didn't pick up. I think it's because I didn't press Y. Like, I wasn't holding Y at the right moment. Alright, there's a genuine, like, risk of hitting the wrong guy. Okay. Of, uh, uh, what? Wait, why was I going through you then? Oh, is there another mushroom on the other side? I think there is. Like, just take your time. Just take your time. 
last thing you want to do here, after this madness of a puzzle level, is to die from something stupid. And boy howdy, does it give you the opportunities to die from something stupid. Yeah, it hit! Okay! Okay, <laughs> I was worried. I was- I don't know if it was subtle by the nature of the words I was using to express myself, but... Oh, I was worried. It's just- it's a level that's kinda neat. But man, do you don't want to restart it after you've been through a thing. No, yeah, like, this is gonna be a World 6 pace. Things are gonna be going slow here. Levels are serious. We are in Seriousville, Serious Town, Serious Place, Serious Container, Serious Closet, Serious Parmesan Cheese Platter.